Okay, so here is the centroid of a triangle. It's x2 in Clark Kimberling's list of triangle centers. And this worksheet is taken from Clark Kimberling's website. The centroid, this point here, is the intersection or the meet of the three medians of the triangle, which are the lines joining vertices to the midpoints of the opposite sides. This is also the point of balance of the triangle, and it's the point of balance in two different ways. If you cut out a triangle of this shape of a uniform mass distribution, so with maybe out of plywood with equal thickness all the way around, then this is going to be the point where that triangle balances if you try to uh, you know, balance it horizontally. Also, if you cut out a triangle made out of some very lightweight material and you put equal masses at A, B, and C so that essentially all of the masses are at the vertices, then also the triangle will balance at this point. So it's um, interesting from that point of view. The centroid is also distinguished from pretty well every other triangle center in that it's not actually determined by the metrical structure. It's a purely affine notion. That means that it can be determined only by the notion of parallelism and does not require perpendicularity or any notion of distance or quadrants or angle or spread. So it turns out that the midpoint of a side is a purely affine notion. And so the centroid is as well. And that's the only triangle center that has that property, the only unique triangle center that has that property.